Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life. I'm going to be kind of quiet because my little girl is sleeping. Stella's downstairs, but Livy is actually up here. I wanted to film this before I opened this special thing that I'm about to show you guys. I'm totally shocked. Johnny said he got me a present and he wanted me to open it. And I was just, I don't know, I, I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting some sort of little treat because Stella's been quite cranky and hasn't slept well the last couple days. I've been kind of down in the dumps, like sleep deprived and I just could not believe what was in the box. It was this. It's a 16 inch MacBook Pro. It's one of the newest, latest and greatest ones. And I have had the same laptop since 2013 and it is a 2012 model. It's just the 2012 MacBook Pro. Like it's nothing super special and by now it's like super duper updated and when I'm editing videos it takes me a long time sometimes the wheel is spinning between every edit every chop that I'm doing to videos you guys know my videos are very choppy jump cut a ton because I cut out all the ums and pauses of things I reword or I decide to leave things out or add different things in different sections. I was thinking I'd get a new laptop probably a couple years from now, like way after we moved into the new house and he surprised me with this. I'm still just shocked, completely shocked. He's not the hugest Apple fan because I'm like super geeky about it and he thinks it's kind of eye rolly like, that I'm so geeky about it. And he surprised me with this, I couldn't believe it. Uh, he knows how frustrated I've been with my laptop here and there, it just seems like it comes in spurts where I get really frustrated with it and then it seems okay for a while. He said it was long overdue, so here it is. I'm gonna unbox it and then I'm gonna go and try to edit this video on it. So if you guys are seeing this video, it was edited on this new laptop. So I wanted to show you guys the back. This is the 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. This is space gray. He didn't add storage to it, but it's basically the top of the line, the brand new one that just came out. So. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. I'm excited. I can't believe. I'm just totally stunned, I'm totally shocked. And I just can't believe. Follow up to one of my other Apple videos. I do have the 4 Watch and the 10s Max phone and then the iPad that came out. I don't know if it was the last iPad release or the release previous to that, but it seems like my products are the latest and greatest or one behind the latest and greatest. And I'm one that keeps my products forever. Oops, got rid of the plastic. I'm one that keeps my products forever. Like my MacBook is from 2013 and I haven't replaced it because it still works. And I'm gonna keep this one for a really long time. He said, you've had that laptop now for six years. It's time to get a new one. <laughs> In laptop years, it's ancient. Let's open it up. I'm so excited. I cannot believe it. I'm just totally shocked that he splurged and bought this. If you guys watch any of my videos, you guys know I'm the big spender. I'm the splurger and he is not. Oh my gosh, it's so thin. <laughs> it looks so thin. All right, so here is the actual laptop. We'll look at the box in a second. There it is, 16 inch. This is the space gray, so. See, gotta peel it this way. Oh, it's really pretty. I didn't like the space gray on the iPads that much, but on here it is. It is sleek, and then my hands are all clammy. There it is. Oh, it's really, really pretty, and I do have the lights on because it is at night. Oh my gosh, I just can't believe how like thin it is. It's way thinner than my 2013, I think. Wow, it's so so sleek and so pretty and i'm used to the 13 inch so this looks humongous to me the trackpad looks huge it's already already starting to do something wow it's really pretty um the keys they feel good i think they updated the keys and i've never had one of the bars i don't know what i'm doing with it i'm gonna have to learn all the new things and the gestures and things Wow, I really like it. So yeah, it's going through setup now. So there it is starting to set up. I'll have to play around with that. It will just set it to the side here. And we'll look at the To box. use English as the main language, press the return key. Wow. It's loud. We'll let it do its thing. 
hopefully will not talk to us again. So here, let's look at the box. It comes with USB-C to USB-C, and I do have USB-C to USB, and also an SD card reader that's USB-C to SD card. Mac OS contains a built-in screen reader okay. called VoiceOver. If you know how to use VoiceOver, press the command key while you press Touch ID three times at the right end of the touch bar to learn how to use VoiceOver to set up your Mac. All right, I turned the volume down. My little girl is trying to sleep. That was really loud. Okay, I turned the volume down. I did use the sound bar to touch that. Uh, so anyway, um, I do have all the USB-C things that I needed for my iPad, so I already have those. And now this is USB-C. And then let's see, here we go. We've got stickers, paperwork. We've got the big brick for charging. And it feels heavier than my other brick. It definitely feels heavier than the other brick. So there's the USB-C. So I do have an extension cord, so you can pull this off and put on the longer cord. And that's what's in the box. So I'm gonna go back to the laptop for a second here. I did touch the mute on the bar, so all the little buttons that used to be up there are now just on that bar. And I'll have to figure out <laughs> what else to do with it. And the trackpad just looks huge. Speakers look nice. So as far as things included, it does have a headphone jack, which Johnny made sure it did, because <laughs> I don't have AirPods. And then USB-C, four of those right there. So no SD card directly on the laptop, which is different. So I'll get used to using the SD card reader on here. And I'm just, I'm totally shocked. I'm, I don't even know what to say. It's really, really pretty. It's just got like a steely gray look to it. It's super thin. I'm just totally shocked. I'm coming from a 2013 laptop, really a 2012 laptop. That was the model I had. It's just so thin and smooth. And the screen is just so big and crisp. I just, I don't know, I feel like it's so much nicer than my laptop currently. I just absolutely love it. So I'm gonna have to go downstairs and have him play around with it as well. So I just wanted to unbox it with you guys because it's just so shocking and cool and I really love the way it looks. I'm super excited to start using it. And I'm still just completely shocked. He upgraded my laptop. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will probably do some sort of review on this coming up. I reviewed I didn't ever do like a year review on my watch or my phone, but I still have been loving both. I need to do that. Oops. I'm actually filming on here too. <laughs> I really need to do an update on both of them. I still love them and use them all the time. And basically I use my iPhone camera more than I use my big camera. I just tend to use it a lot more now. Okay, it's the next day. I wanted to include two things in this video. For one, I looked online to try to compare the two colors and it is kind of tricky to see the difference. The silver is more of like a really whitish silver where the space gray is more of a almost like a purpley leaning steely gray and in certain lights it does have a bit of a like a holographic type of sheen to it. It's not like completely matte gray to me. So I was looking at at it and it's just pretty. It leans a little bit purple, it leans a little bit blue, depending on what light you catch it in. So I think the space gray is really, really pretty. I have a silver iPad Pro. I'd gotten a space gray replacement one and it just was not very pretty. I didn't like it. It just seemed really, really dark, almost black. So I think this space gray tends to look a little bit different because it is maybe the rounded corners or maybe it is it's just a little bit different of a color. I know like some of the iPhones are space gray and they look completely different from year to year. So I really, really like this. It's, it's kind of that holographic type of color and it's really, really pretty. And now the silver, of course, is pretty. It's just a plain silver. And this is an old iPad. So I wanted to just compare the two. I called it an iPad, it's a MacBook Pro, even though um, it's a little bit different probably now versus many years ago. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference. You can see how much darker this leans 
than this one, but it just, especially in this light right now, for me, it's looking more purpley than an actual gray. So it's really neat how it changes depending on the lighting. And then the last thing I also wanted to mention was I have this card reader. I do videos with SD cards. My camera up there has my SD card in it. And so I just bought this one off of Amazon to use with my iPad and it didn't end up working all that great with the iPad. I mean, it still read the card, but the way the iPad files were in the old OS for the iPads was really cumbersome, but this one's great. This one will work with the MacBook Pro as well. It's a really good one. It's cheap and I will link to that one down below. I just had it and it works really good and it's a cheap thing. So I wanted to go ahead and mention that in case you guys are in the market for one of those. And I think that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of all over the place. I was super excited last night and I'm still in shock, like waking up. I cannot believe he purchased this. Uh, he's just not somebody who splurges on things, which is just really surprising to me that he went out of his way, planned this and picked it out for me and really just completely surprised me. Generally with gifts, I kind of know what's coming and they're usually like smaller scale things. It was just super cute. I've had a couple of really hard days with our newborn baby. She just wasn't sleeping the greatest one day and then she needed to get some of her two month shots. And she got those yesterday and we found with her like the shots get her really super fussy, even with the Tylenol. She just needs lots of snuggles, lots of nursing, and it's a lot of a lot of work for me. I basically hold her and nurse her on and off all day because she just doesn't want to be sat down and she feels kind of bad, her legs are sore. And I had that day after a bad sleeping day, so I was already sleep deprived the day before, and she's not the happiest, so he just sprung it on me. He said, you need to pick me up, and he gave me the surprise that he was planning on getting. He was planning on getting it for me, for Christmas and he wanted me to go ahead and open it because I was having a couple of bad rough days. And so I was kind of upset, the, especially yesterday, I was pretty upset. And when he came in the door, I was nursing the baby who was really fussy and cranky and she had been for the last couple of hours. And he comes in and I hear my little girl say, what's that? And he said, it's a surprise for mommy. And she runs into the room and she said, mommy, daddy got you a surprise. At that point in time, I didn't know. He had me open it later once she was in bed so that I could actually play with it. And yeah, it was just totally out of the ordinary. When I heard her say, oh, daddy's got a surprise for you. I was thinking maybe he stopped and got us a sweet treat or something like that. Maybe a pack of pens, which is something I really like. But yeah, he totally, totally surprised me. So I'm going to work on transferring some files. I didn't transfer everything because I don't want all the files from here onto the new computer, but I do want a few files off of here to put on the new one. Anyway, that was it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.